Welcome back, everyone, to Pontos Fathom Hobbies. This is Season 6, Episode 4 of Battlestar Galactica, and we are playing with the Pegasus Expansion. This is the New Caprica Edition. Uh, last time we played, we tried to get to New Caprica, but we were not able to actually activate the seventh round. So now we need to get to seven jump points to reach New Caprica, so hopefully we'll do it in this round, uh, in, this, in this gameplay. So uh, before we jump into... Round number four, quick recap of round three. We've got Cavill on the Cylon fleet. We've got Caprica 6 on the Rebel base star. We've got a base star with Cylons engaged. Both Starbuck and Apollo are um, in their Vipers uh, protecting a, a lone ship. And we will jump into round number four. Quick shout out to this channel's sponsor as you guys know we're not monetized but we have a bookstore link below where you can pick up uh one of the or all three of pontus fathom press's artificial psychology of desiring machines we've got impedance and admittance in desiring machines computational complexity and psychiatric agency volume two actually psychoanalysis of artificial intelligence you can read these books in any order this one focuses on film and we actually have some chapter on the cylons here it says um and actually, this relates to Caprica, uh, a new Caprica. It says, In Ballister Galactica franchise, the Cylons are depicted as placing humans in prison camps as a means of uh, exerting control and punishment. This is particularly evident in the latter seasons of the show, where the Cylons are depicted as having occupied and conquered a large portion of human territories. From a psychological perspective, the Cylons' use of the prison camp can be seen as a form of scapegoating and displacement. Imprisoning humans and depriving them of agency, the Cylons are able to deflect attention away from their own problems and conflicts and project them onto the humans. This allows the Cylons to maintain their power and control and present themselves as superior and dominant species. The use of these camps also serves to reinforce the Cylons' own sense of superiority and righteousness. Uh, it's, a, it's a sort of psychological manipulation and control designed to maintain their own power and dominance over humans. And it's important to develop strategies and approaches that promote understanding and empathy and seek building harmonious and mutual beneficial relationships between humor and AI, such as Boomer and the Chief. Let's go into some of those more uh, and some other readings from it. Uh, if you want, you can also check out the hardcover edition we've got in the bookstore. It really helps us support the channel. I uh, would look great with your other collection of Pontos Fathom books. Um, for as little as a dollar, you can join us on Patreon and be across our other gameplay like uh, Dune Imperium, Gale Force 9 Dune, Eldritch Horror, Song of Ice and Fire, Joan of Arc, uh, and Twilight Imperium. We've been doing miniature paintings, um, model building from Evangelion. Go check out the channel and the website and thank you all for your subscriptions, helping to grow the channel and for your Patreon support. Let's jump into round number four. We're back to the top of the order with Gaius Baltar. We will give him his political cards, his leader, and his engineer. Uh, we'll also have him, uh, let's have him also launch two Vipers, and he can move his Vipers. Uh, one of the actions here is he can have, um, bring these Vipers up to intercept. I guess they're already in the space, so once they move across, they can intercept. Um, let's also have him grab his, um, his crisis card. Oh, a crisis card, not good. We've got another base star comes in. Oh, this is like the classic Battlestar Galactica where the base stars just start, start piling in on, on the core Galactica. So let's see uh, what we can do here. Um, you know, as opposed to that, I'm going to have Baltar actually go to the CIC instead of, he'll move to the CIC. I guess he can still do the action of of that, um, launching these raptors, but he's going to move to the CIC, um, and, um, let's go ahead and place, uh, two more raptors here in this space, and two raptors engaged in this space. And we can all add an additional Viper here and here. And we'll add an additional civilian ship to uh, <clears throat> uh, 
and the additional civilian ship to here. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab our crisis. Oh, that, that is our crisis card. So that's going to wrap it up for Baltar. Let's move into Saltai. Uh, Saltai is uh, going to go up next. And um, we'll have to win this. So we'll take two of these. And then we need yellows and blacks. So Saltai will get three. Yellow and green, sorry. Yellow and green. So I'll have Saltai use an action of nuking a base star. So we'll get rid of one of those base stars right away. Nuke a base star. Um, and we'll go ahead and give him, uh, he needs to get 10 to clear this. Liadama will come in. Carathrace, I think to help. Caprica six. Um, Chief and Ellen Ty. Okay. She can do one. Ellen Ty can do one. We'll shuffle these up. Let's see what we get here. So we get four minus four, and then back to zero. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we do cash that in, and we get to advance the jump clock. We do get a Cylon attack first before that. So let's go ahead and do a Cylon attack. 43, we're gonna lose one of these. Uh, we can also have the Cylons attacking the Galactica and to no avail. So we'll hit the jump clock, reset the jump clock. All of these will get cleared. Base star is gone. Apollo and Starbuck return. Uh, Vipers go back to the reserves as do the Cylons. Go back to their reserves. I'll just place them up here. We did waste a nuke, but it's okay. And we get to grab the next uh, card. So this will take us up to four points. So the sleeper agent phase is gonna come up after this. Uh, we're gonna lose two fuel. Let me just translate this one. We're gonna lose, so we're up to four points. So we, we're, we're almost up to the seven now. So maybe one more or two, one, one or two more, one or two more cards, we should get up to the seven. So let's go ahead and check this out. Two fuel is lost, and then a civilian ship at random is destroyed. Two fuel is lost. Okay, so we lost two fuel, but we're up to four points. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue. We'll move down to, uh, that was Saul Tai. Let's move to Lee Adama. Lee Adama is up next. Uh, Lee Adama will launch his viper as, as well launching a viper uh, he's also able to launch these as well so got two vipers launched uh, let's give him his cards win tactic pa uh, pilot two and one here let's see his crisis card uh it's trap uh we need blues and greens so let's see oh so let's see what happens here if we win if we win destroy a centurion on the boarding party track place a centurion on the boarding boarding party track and the player goes to the infirmary okay that's not good so 
let's go ahead. Lee has um, he can contribute these Carathrace. No, Cavill. No, no, Tyrrell. Yes, Ellen Ty. Sure, Gaius Baltar. And Saul Ty. Okay, so let's shuffle these up. So if we succeed, so we get minus two, uh, up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we've succeeded, and. We can just we can destroy a centurion. We don't have to put the centurion. Let me show you. Here's the base star we nuked, by the way. Here's a base star that we nuked. And the centurion does not get placed. But you get you guys can go and check out our painting video. So thanks a lot for checking that out. So that's gonna do it for the uh, for Adama. Let's move to Kara Thrace. Again, she will launch as well. For her turn, she will launch vipers and put two vipers out for her as well um, and um, let's grab her crisis card so the president decides put somebody in the prison okay so we'll go ahead and place um, Can I place anyone in prison? Like even the, t I guess he's not on the ship. I guess I can. Can I just take t Cavill and place him in prison? I don't think I want him in the prison. Let's go ahead and place Gaius Baltar in the prison. Again, Gaius Baltar always goes to prison. Uh, and we, we will change the president then. With Gaius Baltar in, in the prison, we change the presidency from Gaius Baltar to Lee Adama. And then that will make Leodama pass down the CAG to Kara Thrace. So Leodama is the president now. Uh, Kara Thrace gets shot down one level. And we advance the jump track as a result. So let's move down now to, let's give Kara Thrace one, two, and one and one. Okay, so Kara Thrace. Uh, hands over the car to Cavill. Let's see what Cavill can do over here on the battles on, on the Cylon fleet. Um, I know Cavill can, well, let's have him do his thing. He can go ahead and he is going to launch a base star again with three Cylons. Uh, this guy is hell bent on getting us um, sent. He can also send the in, in the attack. So let's have the three Cylons. Attacking Galactica first. Let's have the three Cylons just sweeping around. Uh, let's have them sweep around this way. Can I have them sweep around this way? So, so they'll target these guys. And then we'll have the base star as well. Run. So first of all, we'll have the attack of the on the Galactica. And no damage. Then we have the base stars attacking the um, uh, Vipers. We've got a one, six, and a seven. So two vipers get taken out. I'll put them in damaged vipers. And that's going to do it for Cavill's turn. Let's go to Caprica six. Caprica six can get her leadership engineering cards. Uh, for her action, let me just see what she can do for this action here. For her action, she can do. She can draw one card from the skill deck of her choice. Okay, so let's have her take a politics skill card. That'll be her action. Um, let's see, anything interesting in her skill cards? 
that you can play. No. Okay. Uh, let's move to Galen Tyrrell. Uh, he gets a politics card, two leadership and engineering. Uh, let's have him also launching Vipers. Uh, we'll have him launching in this tube. And then he can also do another thing. He'll, he'll like take these two Vipers and attack them this way so he can intercept these Cylons. Let's have him go ahead and do that uh, for an attack. Uh, Cylons. Eight, 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 and three. Eight, three, and one. Two of the Cylons are destroyed. I'll put them here. We'll also grab Galen's uh, Crisis card. Uh, re reactor is critical. So uh, let's take two Deck of Destiny cards. Plus Tyrrell will put in uh, blue. Uh, capital six. And red. Character race. And let's go and see these. The reactor is critical. So first we have, uh, okay, one, three, minus three is zero. Three, six, seven, eight, minus two is six, plus five, 11. So we are, we can take two, uh, we can take two cards actually, um, and keep them for ourselves. So that's Chief Tyrrell. Uh, Cylons can attack Baystar and, and they are going to miss. And we get to advance the jump clock. No, we don't get to advance the jump clock. Okay, let's move lastly to Ellen Tai. She gets two politics two leadership and one trader card. Ellen Tai is going to take her trader card and she is going to come back down to Admiral's quarters. Uh, with that, uh, she'll grab her crisis card and we have the salt of the centurions. So if we succeed, there's no effect. Let's grab two from the deck of destiny. Uh, Ellen Tai needs purples and reds. So let's have her Go ahead, um, guys. Baltar. It's all tie. Um, character race. Chief Galen. Okay, so let's go ahead and shuffle these up, and to see who is winning. Also, no advancement here, so. Uh, three, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And yeah, they're gonna get it, nine plus. So no effect for this. We do get a, an attack by the base star and the Cylons. Cylons attack and base star attacks. A four and a three, so we lose a Centurion. The base star does not. So uh, that is going to wrap it up for Ellen Ty's turn. It's going to wrap it up for round four. We will see you in round number five. Thanks for watching, guys. It's uh, getting really serious. I'll clean up the board, uh, get the decks restacked, and we'll talk to you in round five. Bye-bye.